Another student allegedly involved in the Warren De La Salle High School hazing scandal faces a judge today. And that does top our news here at noon. Thank you so much for joining us. Today's court appearance comes after four other students were charged on Monday in connection to that hazing scandal. All of them entered not guilty pleas. Let's get to Nick Monticelli, who was in court this morning as that fifth student was formally charged. Nick? Rhonda, good afternoon. All of them, as you mentioned, entering not guilty pleas. All of them given a $1,000 personal recognizance bond. Now, all of them also have interesting stories to tell about how they either weren't there or in the case of the one arraigned today, Cleveland Haverhill, saying that he doesn't even go to that school anymore and he wasn't there at all. Okay, over at the jail, state your name, sir. Cleveland the fifth student being charged as an adult was arraigned just two hours ago in Warren. 18-year-old Cleveland Harville III has been charged with a misdemeanor assault, the same as the other four charged yesterday. This stems from the alleged hazing assault at De La Salle inside the football locker room. There are no longer accusations of sexual hazing involving a broomstick, but after news broke no one would be charged, two additional victims came forward. So now 18-year-old Ricky Pearson, 18-year-old Sean Bonnery, 17-year-old Gallagher Lovelace, and 18-year-old Michael Young and now Harville are facing that 90-day misdemeanor assault charge. But Harville's attorney says he left De La Salle to be homeschooled days before the incident. I think quite honestly, the final he was in Disneyland, but we'll figure it out. And just like yesterday, the defense pointed out all defendants are African American. I think this is a very interesting case insofar as you have eight African American defendants, you have three potential white defendants that weren't included. And I think that's an interesting dynamic. Now, if you're keeping track of this case, it was announced that seven defendants will be charged. So five of them are being charged as adults. The other two are juveniles. They'll go through an entirely different court process. Now, coming up on Local 4 News at 5 o'clock tonight, the question remains, what is next? What do we see coming down the road, so to speak? We've got those answers from the defense attorneys and what they plan to do. That's again at Local 4 News at 5. We're live here in Warren. Nick Monticelli, Local 4.